Ja, hallo everyone, welkom bij de Plant Coaster. Uh, today uh, we are uh, adding the new section of the park to the World's Fair Park. Yes, we're back in the World's Fair Park to start with that. And uh, yeah, first we got to do some custom supports for that. And uh, I really like the color we chose previously for this, uh, for the supports. Uh, it's like that, uh, like that, that coppery color and it will... Uh, play in nicely later but yes okay new area of the park what is it going to be it's going to be like a flight travel science thing more like a like a flight club like like a i don't know like like a zeppelin or like a balloon type of deal but like for rich people it's, it's like the possibilities of tomorrow in the flight uh, thing and this is like 1900 so planes weren't there yet that's uh, uh, like a, a decade later um, but um, yeah, zeppelins were up and coming I think I'm not sure actually what, like the first zeppelin was but we're doing a zeppelin in the next episode <laughs> but this uh, this episode we're focusing on this little area first about uh, 16 minutes of footage and uh, yeah so it, it was fun um, Figure out the supports for these, this coaster. Of course, this coaster isn't a real coaster, so you could uh, make the argument that realism isn't really a factor in this park. Uh, it kind of is, kind of isn't. It's like a, a slightly imaginary uh, technology of 1900. Most of it is real, but like I take some liberties here and there to uh, make it a bit more easy. Uh, I don't have the most time in the world for this park. Uh, as of recording this episode, there's only three weeks left you can to build on it, and uh, there's a lot of work to do. Uh, so yeah, uh, this park isn't going to be like massive, uh, but I, I'm gonna try my hardest to make it something uh, that looks nice and a nice experience and all. So uh, yeah, uh, be sure to uh, tune into these videos and also for the end result. And uh, actually, a few days ago, the, the video for the journey into the Abyss coaster went live on my channel. I'll link it here. But, uh, I, um, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend watching that. I worked really hard on it. Got a voiceover guy on Fiber and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, just, just uh, that, that's, that's something you can expect for this park uh, as well. Eventually, uh, like a custom voice, uh, blah, that, explain, that explains you uh, what's going on in the park and uh, the story and uh, whatever. Anyway, a little outside wall uh, to uh, mark off the area a bit and to make it seem a bit more like a fluid line with the, uh, well, it's not, it's not a square, it's like a circle thing. And here's a little path to the backstage area, or just to the staff people. And I didn't really know what to do in this sector quite yet, so I just put like a lot of ground and trees on it and some flowers. And for now that's good enough and if I have time left I can put something else in. The main uh, thing that draws your attention is in this zone is going to be the Zeppelin uh, next episode. I think in this episode I'm still constructing like a balloon with ropes, but it's going to be gone because a balloon was already a thing a uh, hundred years earlier than this park is supposed to be, it turned out. So uh, yeah, not really uh, that, uh, that uh, te technology of tomorrow uh, anymore. Uh, so yeah, Zeppelin ones, so uh, yeah, real, uh, real nice. Nice blue fence uh, for this area. I went with like uh, I don't know the color, the color like uh, the, the, a bit the uh, marine blue. No, it's uh, lighter than that. I don't know this blue you see in the screen and uh, uh, a bit of green, a bit of red, a bit of orange even. It's like a weird mix. It's uh, I, I I always pick these uh, dark colors in my uh, my uh, my packs, but it's just uh, sometimes you just gotta be uh, consistent, you know. Sometimes not. But I just, uh, I, don't, I like those colors a bit dark. Uh, maybe because I'm so fond of the Efteling, they have a lot of these colors in the, in their parks. Um, and it fits that vintage vibe of the park. Um, yeah. Placing a terrace here. Is that a word in English? We call it a terrace here. It's like a lot of uh, benches. Oh, no, this is, this is, those are chairs here. There. Oh, chairs. Oh, okay. And some parasols. We call it, is that, again. I've got my English and Dutch make, um, uh, mixed up sometimes, so if I make like a weird, weird noise with my mouth, that's Dutch. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I thought, well, why not uh, place a couple of uh, well, uh, tables there for people to sit down. 
picnic and stuff with a nice balloon right to the right. It's a really more airy feel to this section. It's a bit more open. Uh, and the other side of the park is going to be more vertical uh, with a bit more taller buildings, a bit more dense as well. But yeah, just this is more like the, the happy place of the park. And then we have uh, well, lots of flowers. I don't really change the color of the flowers because that's like a thing uh, that's also consistent throughout the park. Like, and this is not like a one big amusement park. It's just a little World's Fair thing uh, that's uh, bound to the uh, size of the contest. Yeah, I've seen um, some pictures of the competition, that's so to say. And uh, yeah, some people are really making some cool stuff. Uh, yeah, you should really uh, check out Wix's uh, channel uh, on YouTube and uh, maybe you can still compete yourself if you have like uh, can build something in three weeks, you know. Mm, uh, actually, you can't. No, I think it's already closed, the entry. Oh, well. And you can then... Uh, uh, oh, no. Uh, uh. I didn't sleep so well. Anyway, um, you can, then uh, if you can't compete yourself, you can uh, still... Uh, like watch out the people's builds in the end, you know, it's gonna show it off and then people can vote and stuff. And uh, yeah. Yeah. We've seen some nice stuff. Uh, some uh, some people are doing a Dutch park. So uh, that's gonna be fun. Uh, I like uh, I'm Dutch, so uh, of course. So, uh, I'm curious to see how that will turn out in the end. And uh, yeah, some interesting other concepts you guys want, might want to see. Now, okay, I'm doing like this ring thing here for like the, 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 yeah, a ring around the balloons to make it a bit more prettier. And the balloon here, as you can see there, is already in the sky. And, but I'm going to get, get rid of that because, well, the balloons, they were already uh, a thing from yesterday at this point. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay. It's, uh, just, it's a uh, tough life, man. Oh making these videos uh no um light bulbs a lot of light bulbs bulbs you make a circle with that and then uh, you have this wow revolutionary and um, some trees i like these trees yeah again a really open field here some picnic benches in the back there and i think they're also making like a little house later on here i'm just waiting for that now oh first this little arch um, with brick, and it's gonna be uh, called Aeronauts. Uh, oh my god, uh, that's what it's called in um, in uh, in that's what's right, right is called. And I thought, oh, that fits well. It's about air and going up, and that, yeah, that that's it. More light bulbs, I like that, it helps with that vintage vibe, you know. Um, I was thinking now, since there's a Zeppelin instead of balloons, I might replace the flat, right. But I really wouldn't know what would be a good replacement for it. I really like this uh, with the vintage vibe, the this flat white has. It's just that um, maybe with, uh, with the Zeppelin doesn't mix too well. If you have any ideas how to replace that right with another right, because we do have the the other planes, but that's a plane, you know, a planes were the thing. It's a bit bit um, annoying. Anyway, new building here. This is like the information uh, hot, and uh, you can also get sandwiches. Yeah. And the first aid. Oh yeah, it's first aid and sandwiches. That's what this building is. And there may be also some info on the technology of the Zep. There's like a couple of. There's at least one shop in every uh, part of the of the, the, the um, of the park, I think. So yeah, in this part, it's like a sandwich shop where people can get their sandwiches and eat them at the little terrace we built earlier. Um, went with uh, white and a bit grayish whitish. Right now it's still brown the brick but it will magically turn color later on. Yeah, uh, I guess again this wooden texture. I felt like it was a, like, a good choice for the whole flight thing, you know, it's like a... Uh, <sighs> there it is, I'm tired. I just woke up five hours ago, uh, but yeah, no, it was like, uh, uh, it's like in the middle of a field, right? A house like this, and there's, uh, there's like a wind catcher uh, that tells you where where the wind is heading and planes, well, not yet, but zeppelins take off from this field. 
Blondy, 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 blondy. You know what I'm saying, you know. Um, and yeah, and I tried to do some uh, fancy. Sort of, nah, actually, not fancy. It's just. This is a pretty basic uh, house. Um, the basic shape of it. The thing is, uh, uh, like, uh, to make it a bit more interesting, uh, you put dirt decals on it these days. And, um. Dirt decals and uh, what, what else? Oh, posters and wires. And, uh, of course, you need a bit of depth inside your walls and stuff. That's why I like that wooden wall, because it's already uh, 3D instead of a flat wall. And then you figure out what to do else. With, you know, the, the toughest thing to look and make look nice is the roof, if you're not doing custom roofs. I like to do that normally, but again, we have a piece limit. But I might, if I have time left, come back and do it custom. I think I like to do now as well as these trims for these kinds of roofs. But I probably should stop that, otherwise everything starts looking the same. I also uh, caught myself of using the temple pieces a lot. But it's all in a different setting, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to use a bit of different building techniques. Building, different building materials. I'm so tired. Okay, anyway. Um, wood. I like wood. Yeah, I like wood better than sand. And this is coarse and rough that gets everywhere. Uh, here. And a bit of cross beams. Is this really. Uh, not that interesting, interesting, eh? No, no, I thought so as well. Uh, I. 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 What do I want to say? I've completely lost <laughs> what I was doing. Oh, yeah. I might, like, make the videos a bit shorter. Now I'll just cut everything out that I've already done once in the video or once in a previous episode of a series because you don't want to see the same thing every time, you know. I am um, trying to look for new ways to do these things, but I like this. I like this format. <laughs> I mean, to make it is it this fun to watch? I don't know, but it's just me watching back in my edited footage and it's like, okay, let's see what it's what's happened again. And it's like a reminder, it's like a memory test. <laughs> Um, and then the end, you have a little cinematic, you know, I, I mean, I could do like a walkthrough cinematic as well, but is it really necessary? I already explained what I'm doing here, I mean, uh, maybe in the end cinematic or something. Anyway, some more wood. <laughs> and this, oh, this is the first aid building, so yeah, if you've hurt your uh, face or something, I don't know, or you, you want to fix it, even though it's fine. Uh, here's the plastic surgeon of the park. Maybe if you fell from the Zeppelin. Uh, I don't know. Uh, some sandwich posters. That's so cool, Team TKL. I really, whoever made that, thank you. I really, really love that stuff. See, see, this is what makes it look a bit more uh, fun. And then I, th I think I also put like flags on top of it later on, which uh, again make it a bit, it's gonna be a bit more like aviationy or something. I don't know the quite word for it. Our dirty gals here, of course. See, the dirty gals are a bit tricky because sometimes with the lighting they don't work quite correctly. You know, it's a little annoying. Uh, oh, here's the, the thing. The, the, oh, the, the, the trick. Oh, what am I doing here? Oh, the ropes. <laughs> it was hard to see in this. Uh, I'm looking at a quarter of a resolution. Uh, the, the, I'm watching the footage back in a quarter of resolution because my computer can't handle any uh, higher uh, resolution of playback, so that's nice. A flag, a uh, wind catcher, yep, of made of flags. I mean, it looks like something that would resemble a thing like that, so that's good enough for me. A little stand here for people to buy drinks if it's uh, hot, you know. Board oh, yeah, we now go over to the terrain part of the episode. So, yeah, this is like an entrance to our cave. I still need to figure out how to uh, completely make it blend in. But yeah, the coaster goes to her as well. And then underneath, the lighthouse is like a big secret cavey thing. Where the, like a submarine is being uh, sucked. Oh, go again. Oh my god. It's, it's, it's. So, I'm um, yawning at my own videos. It's that pathetic. Anyway, yeah, it's gonna be a submarine constructed in that little area there. 
and the uh, coaster is uh, transporting fuel for it. That's the part. That's the role of the coaster in the park. It's like a transport, right? Like literally, of like boxes and materials, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, I tried to make a big, a bit, it look a bit organic. It's it's tough though. With, uh, I messed up kind of a bit with the layout. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, we're nearly through the video. Yes, finally, guys, we're nearly there. Okay. Uh, just a, uh, like a minute or more or something. Yeah. Okay, so uh, more of these walls against the, the water. And now the whole water has like a nice man-made edge to it. And it starts coming all together slowly. Uh, nah, not really. There's still a lot work, uh, more work to be done. Yeah, just tracing this with the fan. Why am I even showing you like this? I should have cut this out. I'm too lazy to do it now. I'm just going to continue talking over this. Oh, nice fence goes to the left now, uh, even more to the left. Oh, what's happening next? More to the left? Yes. So interesting. And then, oh, what comes after the fence is it's the path thing. And, uh, well, not literally, it's like a fake path thing. And you can see how I do that here. It's, uh, I always do this, guys, uh, if you want to have like a nice little plaza feeling. Instead of all these uh, in-game paths, you just cover them up. And now everything is like one big plaza and you can put fences around. And if you've lost where you've been with the pass, just uh, uh, tick the uh, gr uh, railing on the, on the ground cues or ground paths, and then you can just go over it. And then you can see the pathing again. Oh, this is already here as well. Okay, so this is a gasometer or a gasometer. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's basically like a gas storage facility. Uh, that burns like turns coal into gas or something yeah but anyway i'm gonna explain that in the video uh, when in, in, in the park stuff yeah okay well that was it people uh, thanks for watching this one time again i really do appreciate it if you like the video like it Ugh, so standard melody thing okay just subscribe just subscribe and watch the next episode as well okay bye i mean uh, bye <laughs>